All right, today I'm working on muffler replacement. ZX wheel. Right here. Same thing on the other side. Let's lower slowly. Oh, too fast. Enough. The old muffler, you can see it pretty much rust out. It's supposed like uh, attached to this end. Another end supposed attached to here. But <laughs> the bolt here is attached to here. It decided to give up and the whole thing just dropped, which is great. So I saved me some work. And here's a new one. From Rock Auto, but not sponsor. And let's see. Uh, have, have one more bolt here. It's attached to this bracket. You can see it's like a, it's movable. I, it's a 12 millimeter. I was lucky enough uh, just clean up the thread by wire brush and a little bit of penetrating oil. I can remove it. Yeah, but the nuts not that rusty. You still can see like uh, the hex. And then here, you know, here's like uh, the U bolt. But you can see I cut it because bolt is the nut is round and pretty much like a uh, rust rust welded to the thread. So I cut it with a, a small jumo. It worked pretty well. Oh, and now I can just cut it off. And now I can remove the rest of the bracket. Uh, I apply some heat around it. Yeah, this one is pretty pain in the butt to get. Uh, I use heat. Uh, that's pretty much you can get it from any hardware store. Just like a, a regular plumbing heating source. After I heat that for like about three minutes, and then I I spray some like a cold water to shock the metal. I hope it can like break loose the rust. And then after that, I jam a piece of wood to this pipe here, and then another piece. I hope you can see it right here on the top so almost like a hold this pipe in place so i can like a wiggle like really hard back and forward until until it came off so that's the old pipe Whoa. all right i put the old pipe and the new pipe side by side. So, yep, I have this mounting point right here, same as there. Uh, I tried to get that bolt and transfer to here, but I cannot, so I'm going to get another one from a hardware store. The good thing is, I can get, I got the nut, so I can stop by hardware store and find out what's the thread size. I think the same band. And here's the muffler. And that one should have the same mounting point as this one, which is, it does. Uh, let's see, this is like a, here's the part number and the brand. Also, not the sponsor. Okay, so before I do the installation, I will use a wire brush to clean up the inside. To make it easier to slide in. Oh, there's a lot of rust. So once it's done, I'm going to remove like a the piece of wood I put in. All right, here's one piece from the top. All right, here's the bottom piece. Oh, before you do that, make sure the pipe is cool to touch. Since I hit up by this like a poking torch.
Okay, I slide this in. Well, it looks much better than this one, for sure. I need to remove one, two, three, and four bolt, well, rusty bolt, and then transfer this heat shield, this heat shield uh, back to the new muffler. So I'm going to like apply some heat here. And then shock it with like a cold water. Well, maybe I use I wipe brush a little bit first to make sure I can see the thread. Yeah, let's do that. You know, wire brush and don't forget safety glasses. I put on a piece of brick because I don't want to damage my driveway. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. And then some cold water. And try to pop it loose. All right, be careful. This is like really hot. All right, give me a second. All right, don't touch it by hand. Grab like a, a vice grip or a pair of plier. Oops. All right, just throw it away. Don't touch it until it's cold. So now I can hit up another one. Okay, just keep two, uh, two more to go. Alright, the heat shoes like piping hot. I'm gonna leave it here and I, I'm going ahead and go to the hardware store. In the meantime, I'll go to the hardware store. Yeah, uh, that's like the the one have the most thread on it. So I can go and match match it. I need four of them. So a bolt and uh and two washer. Yeah, because like uh, the nuts they're built they're built in to the to the heat shield. Oh, and don't forget, we need to reuse those brackets. Hot. Alright, sorry, it's hot. Alright, I'm going to install the exhaust hose clamp. So here's the the part I got. You should have a, a bracket, a U, and two nuts. Yeah, they're 14 millimeter. Alright, it is a little bit too big to fit inside inside this bracket. Alright, I'm go ahead and uh, use the angle grinder to make some cleans. I I use the angle grinder to just grind up a little bit on both ends. And now you can slide in, it fit much better. And then I can install the U. Alright, 
I'm doing a problem like this hole right here. It's not big and it's, it's too small, so it's stuck with the new U bolt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use like a, a step drill bit. I think is I need to open up to 1332, and that should work. Yeah, so now I can go through it. So I need to do another one on the other hole. Oh, don't forget safety glasses. You have there's so many metal shaving and some nasty stuff coming down from the car. Really tight. It's really tight. Yeah, I think that's good. Do the head shield first. I'm gonna, I'm going like a clean, clean out the thread or fix it. This is a M6 by one tap. So I'm go ahead like a, uh, just run it down by hand. Okay. I feel some resistance. And then spray some lubrication. And just adjustable wrench. Just do a back and forth motion. Just a bolt to try it. Yep, now I can thread it down by hand with no problem. Okay, I'm gonna repeat the same process for another, for another like uh, I don't know what I call, fasten a nut on this head shield. All right, I traced the thread for every single one of them, so now just just clean clean it with some brake cleaner. Yeah, just clean the lubrication and then I gotta fluff out like all the gunk. Maybe clean up. Yeah, let's clean up my tool too. A tool, I'm going a little, a little bit W40 to protect it. Well, hope can last long, but we'll see. Ooh, look at new. All right, so here the old, old head shield, and then an the old bracket. And I got, right, that's the first thing that I got from like a local park store. Uh, the good thing about this one, you have a flange. So I don't need to buy washer. Hope that works. Uh, that's like a M6 by 1 by 20 millimeter.
Alright, so now I can snuck it with a 10mm socket. It's good. I'm gonna install a random bolt I find in my drawer. Uh, I measured the thread size. This is like an M7 by one, and I believe it's like a one inch long, maybe, I don't know, 20, 20 millimeter. So this will be here. Okay, just knock that down. And now let's go to the muffler here. And this random bolt here is M9 by 1.25. Alright, so make sure it's snug. I think that's it. That's the exhaust setup. So some new fasteners, a new muffler. Uh, we used the old heat shield. Got some new bolt. And I got the new U-clamp with a slightly modification. That's it. Yeah, the car should sound quiet and it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. All right, thank you guys. See you in the next video. Pump it. So now can we move? And this one. Check slowly. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up or maybe think about subscribe. Yeah, it can help the channel a lot. All right, so see you on the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.